So you can choose if basketball is something that you feel most comfortable with the Saturn ball, you are allowed to try to set yourself up and shoot this from outside the three point circle to see if you can get the Saturn ball into the basketball hoop, which is worth two points. Hello everyone, it's Chris from Flag House and this week I'm here with coach Colleen McCurry to look at this amazing product. This is the Saturn ball. The Saturn ball was a fun adaptation of a ball where we were able to utilize basketball, team handball, and soccer and incorporate all three of those skills into a game. Check it out and see how you can use this ball to really raise the level of the game and incorporate three games in one. So we've got these great games and activities coming up for you next. And hey, if you like videos like this, if you like activities like this, then please subscribe to the Flag House Activity Channel. We have brand new videos every single week. Coming up next, it's the Saturn Ball in the Flag House Activity Channel. Okay, so we're going to introduce a game called Saturn Ball. And as you can see, it is a round ball. And as mentioned, it does look a little bit like Saturn. It has a ring on the outside, which adds a new level of a challenge to the game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and we pair it off. And you're going to go through a sequence of skills. So as you, if I was going to be paired off with Bryn, right, I'm going to use it and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use that rim. What do you think I'm gonna use it to be like? Frisbee. Like a Frisbee, right? And we're gonna toss it back and forth as partners, right? And so another way I could do it, I can do the Frisbee, I can go underhand and toss it and get a little spin that way. So I have choices. The other option will be to put it on the ground. So you're gonna see that this game can be played in the air or it can be played on the ground like soccer. And it also has an element of basketball. And you're going to start trying to throw it like a Frisbee. Throwing it nice and easy like a Frisbee. With a partner. Ooh. <laughs> nice, oh he's got some spin on his. Okay, and so hold, up, hold your Saturn ball. Now we're gonna show you level two, which is now you're going to, you're going to drop it down on the floor out in front of you and you can trap it with your foot on top and then you're gonna use the inside of your foot and you're gonna try to kick it. Somebody else is gonna need to trap it, control it and then send it back like a soccer ball. It is, it's, yeah, it takes some funny turns on you. <laughs> okay, and you're gonna hold the ball for a moment. And level three. Level three is another thing that you can do with this ball, I'm gonna borrow from Peyton for a minute, is you're allowed to shoot it like a basketball. Right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to decrease the distance, maybe about one body distance between the two of us, and you're gonna get your hand underneath, and you're going to see if you can shoot it. So you're gonna start off, right? Try to bend that elbow and extend it and see if you can, little air shooting to your partner. Nice. Ooh, Katie's got the motion. I think she's got some basketball skills. <laughs> so here's how the game works. As you're going to notice, there is a goal, and that's for the soccer part of the game. And so this area, that's the circle. Does everybody see the circle? Yeah. This is a no enter zone. It's the safe zone, and no one may enter that zone in order to shoot the ball. There will be no goalies in this game. So you can shoot the ball, right? Throwing it with your hand like you did with a partner. So I might want to do it like a Frisbee, but it does have to bounce before it lands in the goal. Or, I saw some of you seem to like it as soccer, you can get outside of the circle and you can place it down, right? You can trap it and you can attempt to shoot it on the goal. Now, if you choose to throw it in the goal, it's worth one point. If you choose to try to put it on the ground and kick it into the goal, it's worth two points. If basketball is something that you feel most comfortable with the Saturn ball, you are allowed to try to set yourself up and shoot this from outside the three point circle to see if you can get the Saturn ball into the basketball hoop, which is worth two points. And the special rule is that you may not move when you're in possession of the Saturn ball. So if I'm here and Peyton's out in front of me and she's on my team, I can toss it to her and then I can run and get ready and she can pass it to me again 
But the only thing you may not do is you may not run when you have possession of the ball. You could pivot. Does everybody know what a pivot is? Who could show me a pivot? Sure, right? You keep one foot down, right? And you're allowed to move and change direction. Move yourself all the way around, right? You gotta pass and go, pass and go. Move your team around, there you go. Oh, went off the post, it's still in place. Somebody go get it. Good, make a pass. Okay, it went out, it went out on blue, so purple, purple gets, to, there you go, Charlie's got it, here we go. There you go. When the ball is loose on the ground, you may only pick it up. Oh, good try. Keep it. Okay, it went off the blue. Oh, good try. Someone can pick it up. Red has it. Oh, it went off the post. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, are you ready? In the circle. There we go. Well, it was actually outside of the dashes. That was okay. Is it blue and green together? Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no goalie. Yeah. Oh, gotta wait till they throw it. Oh. oh, off the rim. Go ahead, Noah. No. Okay, rotate the ball. Try to rotate it to make that score. Oh, it's okay. Pick it up. Make a pass. Oh, oh that one was close. So that was a that was our opportunity, right, to see what Saturn Ball looked like. And I hope you'll try it out with your classes and have some fun with your class. Thanks. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Feel free to like, share, or comment on this video, especially if you've got your own ideas for this week's episode. Click over here to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll get updates when we bring you new phys ed ideas. Check out more from our library of over 150 activity channel episodes here and get downloadable activity guides and lesson plans at flaghouse.com here. See you next time on the Flaghouse Activity Channel.